Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I talked about how I failed the Add One Challenge. And while I didn't have that 15 minute conversation with a native speaker, there are definitely a few things that I learned. The main thing being, I need to talk more, which makes so much sense. But since I do want to focus more on speaking, I will not be taking the JLPT this December anymore. I do want to take it still, but I'll take it next year instead. And since I am waiting a longer time to take it, I think I'll try to take the N2, but we'll see once it gets closer to that time. But I don't want to take the JLPT anymore because that test focuses more on listening, reading, and grammar, while like I said before, my main, my main goal is speaking. And especially since I want to go to Japan, I really want to focus on my speaking skills. And I think I mentioned this before, but I am going to Japan next summer, so it's really important for me to up my speaking abilities. But since I do want to focus on taking a test at the end of the year still, just to motivate myself more, I'll be taking the oral proficiency interview instead, or the OPI for short, since that test focuses solely on speaking. And my goal is to reach an intermediate low level of oral proficiency, which on the website it says I should be able to request and provide information on familiar topics, interact with others to meet my basic needs in familiar situations, and express, ask about, and react with some details to preferences, feelings, or opinions on familiar topics. And I should be able to do all of that using simple sentences and being able to ask follow-up questions. Now on their website, there's a more detailed list of things you should be able to do at the intermediate low level, but that was kind of just a summary of the skills you should have. I'll list all the information related to the OPI down in the description box below. So if you have any more questions about that, you can look there or just leave a comment in the comment section. So I did decide to do another three month challenge in order to help me better prepare for the OPI. And it's a challenge by Ambie Gonzalez and I'll link her information and YouTube channel in the description box below as well. And so far, I'm really liking it. I've only been doing it for the past two and a half months so far. And I noticed some of the things that she wants us to learn, you don't even learn in the first few chapters of the Genki 1 textbook, such as saying, I don't have to, or I have to. And I've even looked it up in the Genki textbook. You don't learn that until like lesson 12 or some of that, not even until the Ginky 2 textbook. Yet I think those are pretty important things to be able to say in any language. Like I have to do something or I don't have to do something. But anyways, um, this challenge can help you no matter what language you're studying. So she prevents, she presents information to you in English such as the grammar that you need to know for the week and some important vocab words. And it's up to you to figure out how to say those things in your target language. Also, this challenge isn't like the Add One Challenge where it's only open um, a few months out of the year. You can really start this challenge whenever you want because it's all about you and your self-study. You can do it with friends if you want or it's completely up to you. Um, you can do it by yourself and again, you can start it at any time and you can do it with any language. It's so enjoyable. I even convinced my mom to do it for Spanish so she's really liking it as well. I'm really hoping that after another three months of more guided um, self-study, I'll be able to have better conversations with less hesitation and at least be able to communicate my basic needs with someone. That's really my main goal after these three months. And afterwards, I'll, after the three months, then I'll figure out what else I really need to focus on. And I realized all the materials I was using before are good, but I definitely um, want to focus on using less materials for now. And the longer I'm working on learning Japanese, the more I realize 
um, it's okay to change what I want to use. So right now, I really only want to use the Ambi Gonzalez um, three-month program to learn grammar, meaning I'm not going to pick up the Genki textbook and learn additional things that she doesn't tell you to learn. But I will be listening to TV and reading books just to pick up more vocabulary and to practice my listening skills. But yeah, I just wanted to give you all an update on my Japanese goals because they have changed a bit from taking the JLPT to not taking the JLPT until a later time, but still taking a test just to assess my language skills at the end of the year. And again, I'll, li I'll link all the information about the OPI and Ambi Gonzalez and her challenge in the description box below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Until next time.